So, uh, hi, Carb Day uh, with Justin Harris as Carb Cycling. This is what I'm doing on my rebound right now. Um, I already went over the medium day, so I'll give you a peek into what the high day looks like. Um, so, the general uh, rules for the high day, and this doesn't change um, whether you rebound, contest, whatever. Uh, I, I try to keep my meal space two and a half to three hours apart. Um, I on the high day, I check my glucose levels before the meals. Um, I usually try to eat when it's below 100. Usually, if I stretch it out to three hours, that's that's uh, I'm usually in a good spot. Sometimes I'll even get a little hypo um, uh, if if insulin's used. Um, no added fats during that day, so no oils. You know, try to keep everything as low fat as possible. Uh, I stick to as close to zero fat proteins as I humanly possible. Usually, I just eat 99% chicken breast or cod during the day. Um, you know, like I said, fats as close to zero as possible. Um, up to half the carbs can come from uh, low-fat sugary carbs. Uh, I usually do fruit juice, whole juices only. Um, I usually get the Simply um, brand juice, the Simply Orange, Simply Fruit Punch. Um, sugary cereals, my go-to is Captain Crunch uh, or Cinnamon Checks. <laughs> Those are usually the ones I go to. Um, natural jam, um, I usually get organic jams that use sugar. Make, I, I try to stay away from high fructose corn syrup where possible. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but um, you know, I, I, you know, I've read some information that high fructose corn syrup doesn't readily convert into muscle glycogen, at least not easily. Uh, sugars are better. Uh, pie filling, uh, same deal with the pie filling. I usually get apple pie filling or sometimes blueberry pie filling. When I get the pie filling, um, I make sure it's the pie filling that has uh, real sugar in it or dextrose, not um, high fructose corn syrup, which is the hilarious thing that is when I get the cheap Walmart brand pie filling, it actually uses real sugar in the uh, expensive Comstock stuff is mostly high fructose corn syrup and has a bunch of additives. The cheapo Walmart great value brand is just apples, cornstarch, sugar, which is, just blows my mind. It goes, goes to show you that you need to look at the ingredients on stuff before you buy it and assume that name brand expensive stuff is better. A lot of times it's not. Uh, the remaining carbs uh, come from more complex sources, starchy so sources. I don't. I, I usually just stick with white rice. Anything else, because of the quantity of carbs that I'm eating during the day, weighs too heavy on my stomach. Um, digestion. You know, I really focus on things that digest easily that day. Uh, I don't eat any vegetables um, on the high carb day. Sometimes I'll have some fruits. It just depends. Um, if I eat anything heavy, like complex carbs, like brown rice, oats, uh, even potatoes, um, even though they're starchy carb, um, or vegetables, I just can't digest the food properly to be ready for my next meal. Uh, um, it, the, the goal of today is to get down the carbs. Um, optional cheat. There is an optional cheat at the end of the day. Uh, when I was on contest diet, I didn't do it maybe once or twice when Justin told me to. Um, just psychologically, when I'm in diet mode, I I don't like to cheat. It just fucks with my head, and then I just start craving, get, get weird food cravings. When I stay away from cheating, the food cravings go away. It's probably psychological, I, I, I'm guessing, but if I stay away from junk food, I don't get cravings for junk food. Um, you know, usually... I try to stick with a clean sheet versus a dirty sheet. Right now, it's been more dirty sheets than anything. Um, I've had a couple slip-ups on the rebound. You know, house an entire bag of, uh, family size bag of peanut M&Ms. I raided my kids' snack foods one night. Uh, I've been moderately okay. I'd say I've been 90, 95% compliant with the diet. Um, I have been making the most of the cheat meals, that is for sure. And some of my cheat meals have been in the dirtier <laughs> brand of cheat meal. And what I mean by a dirty cheat meal is high fat, maybe not the best sources of carbs, uh, you know, like going out to an Italian restaurant for dinner and eating the fried calamari for appetizer and having a piece of tiramisu for dessert and spaghetti and meatballs that that would be a dirty sheet a uh, clean sheet would be uh, meat and rice type of things like you know going to the outback and having a plain baked potato and a steak 
and maybe a salad. That that's I don't even know if you would even qualify that as a cheat. Uh, but that's what I define as a clean cheat. Uh, usually my clean cheats, I like Mediterranean food, so I'll get kebabs uh, often. Uh, or, um, you know, uh, sometimes I'll get Chipotle, uh, get a burrito bowl. Um, it's kind of my go-to. But right now, my my or Thai, I like Thai food. Right now, I'll get a cheat, and then I'll have a dessert with a cheat, usually a couple cookies or some sorbet or something at the end. Uh, once again, I'm going to reiterate that measurement isn't optional. You have to measure your foods and weigh your foods. Uh, gram scale is the best way. Uh, measuring spoons and cups are okay, but they're not going to be as accurate as weighing everything out. Uh, the current diet construction right now, um, the four meals that aren't around the workout window, 125 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, close to zero fat is possible. Half those carbs are coming from, um, at least half those carbs are coming from starchy carbs. I, I keep it a little higher than half. For me, it's cream of rice and rice, jasmine rice. Uh, for my sugar, I, I jam, OJ, pie filling, cinnamon checks is what I got on the deck tomorrow, I think. Um, I'll, I'll record the videos tomorrow of what I'm eating exactly. Uh, for the workout window, um, same deal, just uh, higher carbs, you know, so it's 100 150 grams of carbs pre-workout <coughs> and then the post-workout cheat uh intra is um 10 grams of bcaas and 50 grams of uh, uh simple carbs i use highly branched cyclic dextrin that's it we'll get into the meal now hi day meal number one um so today you know as i said earlier the, the the macros for the meals, uh, the, the non-workout uh, window meals, it's 125 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, and zero added fat. I am going with the chicken breast. This is probably my favorite meal of the day. I know it looks disgusting, but I do cream of rice uh, with Bon Mamam jam. This Bon Mamam jam is super expensive if you get it at the grocery store but costco has these giant containers i i think they're one quart uh 36 ounces whatever uh for like 10 bucks and the little tiny pint ones are are, are like nine dollars at the grocery store um i'm also going to treat myself to a monster i stayed up to zero calorie monster i stayed up way too late watching the Washington football team almost lose to the New York Giants last night. Uh, but anyway, that's meal number one. Meal two, uh, this is a pretty simple one. I'm going with the chicken and rice, orange juice. I do this simply, orange, orange juice. Most orange juice, if you look at the ingredients, I don't know if you can see the ingredients on here. It's a bunch of fucking garbage. It'll say like 20, 30% orange juice and it has high fructose corn syrup blah 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 bunch of other crap in it this simply orange orange juice is just oranges nothing else added to it i don't know if at the end of the day if it really makes much of a difference health wise but i just like it because it tastes better um all right uh, macros for this meal 124 125 grams of carbs 40 grams of protein um i did want to uh, somebody asked me about my rice cooker if it cooks evenly um this thing, uh, this thing is wild. You can see in here, my rice has been in here for 49 hours. I don't know if you can see this, but it's still, rice is still fluffy. It's not stuck, it's not burned. Uh, one, one of the cool things that this rice cooker does is it cooks the rice from the top and the bottom so you have even heating. You can see up top, there's a heating element. It's Zojirushi. If you don't have one, I would get one. Meal number three on the high carb day, uh, same macros as before. I know this looks disgusting, but this is blueberry pie filling with uh, rice. Um, I usually get just the generic brand pie filling. It usually has real sugar in it. Chicken, as usual. Um, typically, I go with the apple pie filling. I like it better, but kind of wanted to mix it up today. The blueberry pie isn't my favorite, but hey... When in Rome. Anyway, this is meal number three. Meal four on the high carb day. Um, I've got 
chicken and rice with some cucumber and soy sauce on it. Uh, cinnamon checks here. It's hard to believe that is what 60 grams of carbs of cinnamon checks looks like. God knows I probably have eaten in my past a 500 gram of carbs cereal meal. <laughs> meal. I, I can house an entire box or half a box of cereal, no problem. I love me some cereal, but anyway, this one's super simple. Cinnamon checks, rice, chicken. That's it with a little bit of soy sauce on it. So meal number five, this one looks familiar. You've seen this one before. My jam and cream of rice by my mom, chicken. Uh, for my intro workout, I do uh, True Nutrition EAA Plus, 10 grams of essential aminos. I use the uh, highly branched cyclic dextrin from True Nutrition as well. Uh, you could use waxy maize or something, carbolin, something cheaper. Uh, waxy maize tends to bloat me up. Uh, I know the HBCD is expensive, but it goes down smooth. I mean, you don't have to use it. It just digests easier for me. Um, I usually don't use a pre-workout, but today I'm feeling kind of blah. I need an extra kick in the pants, so I'm using Fenris Fury pre-workout from Valhalla Labs from Dr. Todd. I'll drink the pre-workout while I eat my meal, and I'll probably head to the gym in about an hour. Um, but anyway, that is meal number five, and my intro shake, and my pre-workout. Meal number six. I hit the gym pretty hard tonight. Uh, got my hit cardio in afterwards, nice and sweaty, ready to eat some calories. So I got one of my go-tos, which is... Moby Dick Kebab, uh, if you're in the D.C. metro area, they've been around forever. Everybody knows Moby Dick, so I got the beef and chicken, and I got eggplant. Um, also a black and white cookie for dessert. Um, uh, when I, uh, probably here soon, I'll start tightening up the cheat meals a little bit and just keep it to the meat and rice. Um, and, uh, body fat's starting to pick up a little bit, so... I'll clean these up and probably not do them on every high day, but on uh, on some high days, I'll just cook my own cheat meal so I can have better control over what goes into it because God only knows how much fat is in here or not. I, I think their food's pretty lean. I, always, I know the guy that runs the place, I always tell him no butter on the rice and he says he cooks it for me the low fat way. So I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> You know, if there is such a thing as low fat with this. But anyway, this is my cheat meal for tonight. Uh, it's a pretty good one. I'm looking forward to having it. Take care.